Arsenal owner Stan Kroenke is coming round to the idea of having to sack an Emery and find a replacement, according to reports. Emery is under pressure in North London with the gunner stuck in a rut. Saturday's 2-2 Premier League draw with Southampton, where they salvaged a point through Alexandre Lacazette, has seemingly pushed him towards the exit door. Arsenal fans are losing patience, too, not for the first time this season, a winless Arsenal were booed and jeered from the field of play following their draw against the Saints. Kroenke has been determined to give Emery time, acknowledging that replacing Arsene Wenger in 2018 was never going to be easy, but the Sun say the Arsenal chief is coming round to the idea of having to find a new manager sooner, rather than later. Two weeks ago, the North London Giants released a statement backing Emery that read, We are as disappointed as everyone else with both our results and performances at this stage of the season. We share the frustration with our fans, and I, players and all our staff as they are not at the level we want or expect. Things need to improve to meet our objectives for the season, and we firmly believe an eye is the right man for the job, together with the backroom team we have in place. We are all working intensively behind the scenes to turn things around and are confident we will. We never take our fantastic support for granted. We hope we can all stick together and get behind the team in this challenging period, as together we are stronger. But Arsenal are now having second thoughts, they're reportedly concerned that Everton, Watford and West Ham may all be on the lookout for new managers soon amid their respective struggles under Marco Silva, Kike Sanchez Flores, and Manuel Pellegrini. And that's why they may wield the axe on Emery, despite their initial determination to stand by their man. Meanwhile, an Arsenal fan group has released a statement expressing their concerns with the team's current plight. It read, In July we issued a statement from a number of key Arsenal groups, outlining our concerns at the direction of our football club. A supporting petition was signed by over 100,000 individual Arsenal fans who not only felt a disconnect from the club but also had grave concerns about our future. Since then we have been told to get excited and to support the team. As Arsenal supporters we have done both. There exist many issues raised in our first statement, that remain unaddressed by the club. Whilst these matters have not gone away, it is the overall alarming and desperate state of things, on and off the pitch, that need urgent action and take precedent amongst our concerns. Until the club and especially the senior management structure, is running efficiently, effectively and ambitiously, then few other issues can, or will, be satisfactorily resolved. The early optimism of summer, around what appeared to be good business and positive signings, has given way to renewed concerns about our overall direction and the leadership of our owner. It feels like the club is rudderless and floating aimlessly, unsure of its destination. It appears that reported unrest in the dressing room is affecting our performances on the pitch and the board's clearly stated target of a top four finish at season end, looks in serious danger with barely a quarter of the season played. We spoke about never feeling less valued and this has continued with an astounding lack of communication from the club. We understand it is the Arsenal way to deal with issues internally but the current communication vehicle, the drip feed and leaks to certain journalists, is unacceptable and unsatisfactory. Communication on the whole has been dealt with poorly, and the tactics used only add to the confusion, uncertainty and unrest amongst fan base, which in turn is motivating our opponents, who can clearly see we're in trouble. As documented in our initial statement, Stan Kroenke made his ambitions for the club clear. KSE's ambitions for the club are to see it competing consistently to win the Premier League and the Champions League. We still see no evidence of this, and current form would suggest that we are moving ever further from these goals. We raised previously the need for new and dynamic appointments at board level, people with Arsenal DNA are needed at this time more than ever. 
Sadly, the club's reaction to this recommendation has been as unresponsive dismissal of it. Can we assume you are still satisfied that the right people are in the right positions, as Vinay suggested they were at July's end of season supporters event? Again, the evidence so far this season implies an intrinsic lack of understanding, ambition, appetite and ability to take us forward. Following our statement in the summer, Josh Kroenke made an announcement implying that an ambitious KSE had arrived to save the day and secure a club's future. The fact is that KSE acquired a controlling share of Arsenal in 2011 and had significant influence prior to that. The last decade, notwithstanding the FA Cup wins, can legitimately be seen as lost years, both on and off the field, when the team has not only stagnated but actually regressed. To date, that is the legacy of the Kroenke years. While our away support continues to be magnificent, our home crowds are starting to deplete and this situation will be further compounded by what will soon become a toxic atmosphere if the current turmoil and lack of true leadership at the club continues to translate into poor performances on the pitch. We want commitment that the board recognizes the issues faced by the club, and how severe these are for the future of the Arsenal. As supporters we want actual communication and measurable assurances from the board, that actions are in place to address this seemingly inexorable slide. As many great managers have said over the years, everyone involved with the Arsenal must remember who you are, what you are and who you represent. Hashtag we care do you. Let's block ads. Why?